Now that I've created my first web page in HTML, I'm going to copy it with WinSCP. First thing I need to do is install WinSCP, and there's directions to do so in Blackboard. I'm going to log in. So let me open up WinSCP here for you to see. Actually, here, let me reopen the program. You won't be able to see my menus um, based on what we have set up for our view. But there we go. Okay, now I've already created an instance for myself, but I'll create a new one. Actually, I'll just delete what I had. There we go. I'll click New. The host name is eshudson.mcc.edu. My username is robert.bernard. Yours will be the same username that you use for Blackboard, Gmail, um, and most of your campus computing. And then enter your password. Once done, click Save. You can save the session. You can name it as whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as it's stated. Click OK and click Login. Now I have my web space. On the left hand side is my local computer. On the right hand side is my web space at MOT, or actually my space at MOT. This is my R drive. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my desktop, which is where I saved my public HTML folder, right there. And on the right hand side, I'm going to look for my public HTML folder. I can left double click on the left, which is my computer, Double click on the right, which is the school computer. Now I want them to match. Yours will have nothing on the right. So you'll right, you'll left click and drag your assignment from the left to the right, and it'll ask you, do you want to copy it? You'll do the same thing with the um, CMW100 folder. Um, I'm not going to do that in this view because it would write over some of my files. Once done, you open up an internet browser, you go to edtech or yeah, edtech.mcc.edu forward slash tilde and enter in your username. You then should be able to see the front page to your website. And that concludes copying with WinSCP.